here we go, Sugar Sean O'Malley, and you can argue a lot of these people in the building tonight are here to see him. You can argue, though, this is his stiffest challenge in the UFC. I believe so. I believe this is the toughest one. And I know he's fought Piotr Jan, the former champion. I know he's fought Pedro Munoz, but this opponent tonight is going to push him in ways that he has not been pushed before. Does Sean O'Malley use his fantastic footwork, his speed, and his mind to set enough traps to get the victory? I guess we'll see very shortly. Well, you all know the judges are looking for damage and moments of damage, and Sean O'Malley has been pretty good at providing those over the last several years in the UFC. the octagon he's ready to fight The Sugar Show live and in color. Sean O'Malley back on the proven ground here tonight. And what else can you say about what he did against Abu Dhabi? Close fight against Piotr Jan, but that really served to put him on this championship trajectory. Well, you got to stand out and take note when you fight someone like that. So close. Even if he had lost, you had to give him his respect. But ultimately, he got the decision. This guy is a great striker. The one area where we have not seen him tested is in the grappling. Tonight, he will have to rely on that if he wants to get another victory in what has been a fast-paced ascent yeah. up the Bantamweight rankings. And he is a willing grappler. We've seen him compete in Quintet Ultra, Augusto Tanquino Mendez, UFC veteran there firmly in his corner. But you're right, we haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm as yet. Sugar Sean O'Malley. We are set for our main event of the evening. Tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. Ready. Good. Well, never any great mystery when Sean O'Malley's in the octagon. The lettuce on the afro is flowing. As for the fight, though, O'Malley's been a pretty fast starter in the UFC. Let's see if he can continue that trend here tonight. All right, good start for the Sugar Show. Sean O'Malley realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts him with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Oh, nice kick. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Good job defensively to block that punch. Oh, big head kick there. And able to land that kick to the chin. Guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Nice straight right hand. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice strike. Oh, 
Cole, roundhouse kick. That kick blocked by O'Malley. Oh, big elbow. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Oh, big front kick lands flush. So now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Sean O'Malley. Well, he has stayed busy, and he is... Oh! Oh, my goodness! He was right well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like they let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it. But the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to, to deter him from doing this constantly. He has got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. Ninety seconds now to go in round one. Nice kick. Leg kick is true. O'Malley's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, nice. Nice. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Less than a minute now to go in round one. Just missed with the left there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Ten seconds now in round one. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays after that round. And he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished yet. But if he keeps hit getting hit there, it will be. And then everything becomes very Ready different. Fight? So what he's got to do Ready. is he's got to move. He's got to be Go. smarter in his approach in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now. But we will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick the sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, the sugar show. Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. He's about as accurate with that thing as anybody in this division. I think that's what's most impressive about sugar Sean O'Malley is even though he's still young in his career, he has a patience and a calmness about himself in there that not many people possess. But that left hand can only land because he doesn't show you anything as he gets ready to throw it. Oh, man. Jab gets through for Sean. Oh, now he gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Well, Sean
Jeff, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. Oh. oh, big left hand. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Right punch is good. The left also flush. O'Malley gets hit with that stiff jab there. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. Oh, no! Oh, this could just about do it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visitor. Oh! He's got him right here. Ninety seconds to go. One, two there by Sean O'Malley. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Ali's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Work. Come on. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. O'Malley getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so the redness is on the present now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Oh! oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, with authority, the body. Ooh. Oh, 
flying knee to the head. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut, and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. O'Malley's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, big punch lands. That's a beautiful body kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Can't take many of those. You better check. Those leg kicks, man. That's his investment. His investment is in the leg kicks. That's how he slows these guys down and he breaks them down. Deep now. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, we're getting a finish here. All right, we told you to keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. Well, oh, that's a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Nice kick. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Great job landing that body. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. A nice knee to the body there by Sean O'Malley. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, that was yep. O'Malley's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. We might get a stoppage here soon. O'Malley's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Big power shot there. O'Malley going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Waiting seconds here of round number three. Huh. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready to fight? Ready.
Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Ali's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Oh, now he gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Came of inches. Wow! Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, Beautiful diving strike lands. What's up? Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. Fist here by Sean O'Malley. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Nice crack there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Oh, another knockdown! <laughs> With a huge TKO victory! Oh, boy! Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Here once more, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Sugar Sean Well, remember the name Sugar Sean O'Malley who gets his hand raised inside the octagon yet again here tonight. He had some doubters coming into this matchup, but again, Sugar Sean O'Malley finds a way to mute the naysayers. He has set himself up for a massive fight coming up next.